This is quite possibly the smallest Blu-ray update to date. Blu-ray update to date? Let's talk about it. So yes, after months and months of massive, huge, massive Blu-ray updates, monthly Blu-ray updates, I decided to step back and to cut back a little bit, mainly because I wanted to, you know, with my 1,000 subscriber, which I was able to get this month, so thank you so much for the 1,000 subscribers. Thank you everyone for the support. Means a lot, I teared up a bit when I saw that. Oh, and I got the email, I was literally in the middle of hunting at Walmart. Oh, you got uh, 1,000 subscribers. And I was like, holy shit, no freaking way. And uh, I was able to monetize the channel. I haven't made money yet, but you know, it, it's a step in the right direction. It really incentivizes me. It really, you know, makes it. I've been uploading a lot recently, you know, for the past, since last October, I was going ham on the uploads and stuff. And it really, it really makes it feel a lot better knowing that my efforts are, you know, are, you know, making up for it. You know, I'm actually heating the, the milk of my spoils, the, the juice. The juice, the milk of the squeeze, I don't fucking know the reference. But I decided to upgrade, and if you notice, the camera quality is a lot better. I'm not filming on my iPhone anymore. I'm actually filming on an actual legit video camera, which is the uh, Sony A6400. I spent uh, $1,600 on it, so $1,600 on it. So that was a lot of Blu-ray money that I could have spent on Blu-rays, but I spent on a camera because I wanted to upgrade the content. I want to make things look really good and make things look professional because if I am making money, money off it, you know, like a dollar or something, I'm, I want to represent that in the actual video quality. Uh, why, am, why am I rambling? Because I only have like four or five titles to show you. I did have more. I had Platoon on 4K and I had Friday the 13th on 4K. But if you've seen my reviews, shameless plug here or shameless plug here, wherever the fuck it is, you will know that I was very disappointed in those 4K transfers. And being here in Canada, we have to pay quite a premium to get those here. So I was like, fuck it, Amazon, give me a refund. And I sent them over. I still haven't got my money back, but praying to Blu-ray's gods that we do get that. And I'm also hearing a lot of things about, because I'm filming this currently on Wednesday, the 28th of September. Uh, this will probably come out tomorrow. And I've been hearing a lot of really mediocre reviews about the new Scream Factory releases, specifically for Evil Dead 2013. Haven't heard much about Army of Darkness, but I've heard a lot of really mediocre things about Army of uh, Evil Dead 2013. Mainly because the actual standard Blu-ray for uh, Evil Dead 2013 is stellar. It's fantastic. Really good sharpness. 2013 Blu-ray, you're not really going to lose out on specs. Because when you look at older Blu-rays, 2006, 2007, 2008 blu-rays those can look really choppy a lot of uh, imperfections like film imperfections a lot of aliasing a lot of banding a lot of compression uh, but nowadays they've really you know they really you know handle that kind of stuff because it's been god it's almost been what from 2000 to 2006 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, that's what, seven, eight years worth of technology that they've been able to upgrade, right? Like even when you think of video games, the earliest console game, even though it's the same, even though it's the same hardware, the latest or the last game from that console will look a thousand times better than the first game when it first came out, right? So same with Blu-ray, it's a format, it's a video format, media format. Uh, so these older Blu-rays, you know, from post like 2011, 2012, especially if they're a newer movie, are gonna look fantastic. So, you know, when it comes to upgrading that to the 4K, it, it didn't really heed that much results, especially for having a new 4K transfer from, you know, cause it's a 2K, you know, it was a 2K shot movie, right? it's a digital movie. But, um, but yeah, so anyways, um, Scream Factory, what's going on guys? But yeah, so, I returned, well technically Friday the 13th is a Paramount uh, release, but I returned Friday the 13th and I returned Platoon the Shout Factory because I hated that I hated that transfer so much I had to return it because I felt robbed because I spent 38 bucks on it. So I got that return. So hopefully I will be getting my refund back because I did send it back. But uh, so I am left with a handful of Blu-rays left over. I didn't go uh, thrifting. I, I did go thrifting. If you've seen, I'm going to upload that later. But uh, I went thrifting a bunch, and I just haven't been able to find anything. A lot of normie generic Blu-rays that I that I already have in my collection, or that it, I don't really want. Like Perks of Being a Wallflower, is a fantastic movie. I just 
do I, am I gonna really watch it more than once? I'd probably just stream it or something. So those kind of movies I kind of passed up on, but I did buy a bunch of 4Ks, about five 4Ks. So let's take a look at this. Uh, starting off with Poltergeist on 4K. I still have yet to watch this 4K, but I've heard good things about it. And uh, so I am very excited. Toby Hooper classic. Steven Spielberg wrote this, right? So I am very intrigued to watch this. I have never seen this before in my life. So where not to start with on 4K Blu-ray. And then I got, if you've seen my channel, I did a review on that. Please click again, please click here. I did put a lot of effort into it. It'd be great if you'd watch that, <laughs> so plug. But I did get Lost Boys on 4K, another 4K Blu-ray that looked fantastic. I guess because I think everyone knows that this is gonna look really good. Um, but yeah, because whenever I hate on something, it gets the most views, but <laughs> it's not about views. It's about, you know, just sharing my opinion, sharing my thoughts and getting it out there. Because I am, I am a very opinionated person and I don't, let things of like hype get me down. I will, if, if it is a bad transfer, I will let you know, I am honest, okay? So, <laughs> even if I get a thousand subscribers and I get monetized, I will always be honest because I was in that situation of paying 30 plus dollars for a 4K. You know, just because if a studio one day sends me something, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm pretty sure they don't even watch those things. I've seen, I've seen some YouTubers who get free stuff and they don't even talk about it and they continue to get free stuff. So anyways, and then I got all of the A24 horror 4Ks that they re-released because here in Canada, we didn't get a few of these 4Ks. I know Second Sight did a bunch of releases for these and I know that Lionsgate also did some. So starting off with is Hereditary on 4K. Uh, I wanna watch these during the month of October because I wanna get in the spooky mood. Uh, would you guys want reviews for these? I know these have already been talked to death, but I don't know, you know, content. <laughs> Anyways, Hereditary on 4K Blu-ray. I watched this once, like, in the theater with my friends, and I remember not liking it, but uh, I re recently watched it on Netflix, and I thought it was fantastic, so. Uh, Hereditary on 4K, and Netflix is, like, one of the worst streaming uh, streaming services when it comes to, like, like, video quality, so I'm very excited to see what it looks like in 4K, but again, I really just watched it, so I'll give it some time, but this is a movie I haven't seen, that I did, literally just bought it because I heard the 4K transfer was fantastic and because like the slipcover, dude. Look at the slipcover. This looks amazing. Jeez, look at that. Midsommar, the flower lady. Same with the back. Looks really good. And the spine. The spine is where it's at, bro. Solstice d'été. And then they have Midsommar on the spine. So that wins a lot of points on me. So that's also why I got it. And then if you know me, I already own this film. I actually have it right here. I own The Witch on 4K Blu-ray. Uh, this is the Lionsgate release, but I've heard through the grapevine, I've heard a lot of people say on the Reddit forums that Robert Eggers himself wasn't really particular on the color grading of the 4K transfer. So when Second Sight approached him, I, I think it was Second Sight, right? Uh, one of those companies approached to do another uh, transfer for a special edition or whatever, he was like, yes, can we please do this and this and this? So that's why I also got The Witch. Now it may not be, uh, what's it called? Like, like it may not strike me, but I really want to see the artist's vision of whatever they're creating, whether it's a piece of art or, you know, movies. Cause at the end of the day, movies are art. You know, it's taking things like music, like visual art, like performance art, melding them together to make a film. And if the actual artist himself who, you know, wrote it, directed it and all that stuff, he wasn't, you know, particularly uh, keen about it. I have to get the one that he was and this in the back, I don't know if you can see that, I feel focus, but it does say uh, director approved 4K Blu-ray transfer. So um, I'm excited to check this out. You know, I've heard a lot of good things about it and I, I have another Eggers film on 4K and that is The Northman. Robert Eggers, The Northman on 4K Blu-ray. This was fantastic. So I'm really excited to see this is his first movie, right? Cause no, he, he, he made this, The Witch, and then he made Northman, right? So Lighthouse is what I meant to say. Could we get a Lighthouse 4K Blu-ray? I know there's a Blu-ray out there somewhere, but I'd really want that. Cause I've heard really good things about it. I haven't seen it yet but I've been hearing really, really good things about it. Like people just give me like, it's a 10 out of 10 masterpiece film. But yeah, so that was, uh, that was literally it. Just a little tiny little Blu-ray haul because again, I spent over a thousand bucks on this camera and cause this is future proof. This is a 6K sensor 
downscale to 4K, so uh, this should last me at least a decade. So I uh, just need to buy more lenses and stuff. So this Black Friday, stay tuned for this Black Friday. Also, we're getting in the Black Friday hype. If you wanna see some Black, I filmed a lot of really good stuff for Black Friday last year. If you wanna see that playlist, hit over there because you know, we're nearing October. Once October ends, we're in that November month. And I think, I think for the most part, all November long, there's like a Black, there's usually Black Friday deals or maybe at least past 14, maybe past uh, American, uh, what's it called? Not Las Vegas, American Thanksgiving. So uh, yeah, so those were my uh, my little haul. Usually I have an entire stack where I have to stack it on my table. Saved a bit of money, got a five, got a, got a five stack of 4Ks. Really good quality 4Ks though. You know, heredit uh, Midsommar, Hereditary, uh, Lost Boys, Poltergeist, and The Witch on 4K Blu-ray. But that is it. Again, thank you, thank you all so much for 1,000 subscribers. That is absolutely amazing. Uh, I really appreciate it. I've been grinding for over a year, so it's really nice to see the fruits of my labor. The fruit of my labor. That's what I was trying to say. Not the milk of my squeeze. I don't know what the fuck I was talking about. But yeah, anyways, thank you so much. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give a like and subscribe because that really incentivizes me to go ham on the content, do more stuff. And I'm also Canadian, so that's a little spin on the thing because I know a lot of people in the Blu-ray, Blu-ray community, uh, 4K Blu-ray community are mainly from the United States. I know, you know, us Canadians don't really have much, re represent, much representation. I think there's one guy. And also my buddy Alex at uh, Cinema Inspired. If you haven't seen those videos, check them out. But, uh, you know, there's not really much uh, Canadian representation in the Blu-ray community. Even though we're like one of the top five biggest film, you know, film countries in the world. I think, right? Like US, right? US, UK, uh, South Korea, Japan. Not Japan. South Korea, uh, Canada. Whatever. You know what I'm talking about. So... If that sounds interesting to you again, please make sure you give a like and subscribe. I have been Mage from the Mock Buster YouTube channel. Channel, let me know down below. What was your favorite pickup of the month? For me, I would have to say probably, uh, ooh, like everything. I loved everything that I picked up because these are all banger movies, except for Midsommar. I've heard really um, mixed things about it, but you know, Hereditary, fantastic. Uh, Lost Boys looks fantastic and it's a great movie. Poltergeist, I've heard really good things about, and same with The Witch. So anyways, thank you so much. I've been Mace from the Mock Buster YouTube channel. Please have yourself a good day, night, evening, afternoon, morning. Whenever you're watching this, please stay safe and God bless. Peace, cheers, long with physical media. See you guys. Apache Stone.